Hello and welcome to Comment Comeback, the show where I go back to one of my older videos and have a look at some of the more interesting comments. This time I'm going back to the trying to watch My Little Pony episode. This will be one of the first comment comebacks I've done to a video that wasn't an I hate, but I'm pretty confident we're still going to get the same sort of comments as usual. Eh, you spent too much talking about things that didn't matter, and you have a bad temper. You're just in a bad mood about everything. Let me just get this out of the way. I don't really like the the trying to watch My Little Pony video very much. I don't think it's... it doesn't really fit into the channel very well with all the other things I tried to comment on and stand for. It was very much like a hyper-negative, super dismissive thing, because I, I knew going in I don't care about My Little Pony. I know exactly what this is gonna be, and I know I'm not gonna like it, and guess what? It, it, it was exactly what I expected it to be, and I didn't like it. Big surprise. Of course I was talking about things that didn't matter to you. Like why I didn't think the animation was anything, or why I thought everything was annoying and stupid. That's because if I didn't say anything, it would just be a 15 minute video of just My Little Pony. My commentary would, would be nothing. Breaking Bad first couple eps weren't really all that good for me. Better Call Saul is amazing though. What has this got to do with My Little Pony? What does this have to do with ponies? Everyone always watches the first episode and bases their opinion on that. The Brony episodes are part of the two to four seasons. Jesus Christ, people. Oh, sorry, my mistake. You know, it's just, it's not like the rules for television is that you start with episode one of season one and go through numerically like that. Oh yeah, I'm gonna start watching House of Cards. I'm gonna start on season three of episode two because that's when it gets good. Shut up, I hate that. Oh yeah, yeah, you, you have to sit through uh, two seasons of utter crap to get to the stuff that's half decent. No. I'm not gonna do that, I don't have time for shit like that. Lol, you chose to watch the worst episode. Never do that. Again, how was I supposed to know that the first episode was infamous for being fucking terrible? How did anyone even get past it? I don't understand. Do they just sort of hate watch it? Like, huh, yeah, this is the worst. Uh, this is dumb, but I'm gonna keep watching because it's so dumb it's funny to me, and I have nothing better to do. Do you know what love is? You can fall in love with My Little Pony even if you like it or not. Or not. Well, like the mineral rocks. Did anyone play Lego Rock Raiders? That was all about collecting ore. Now that was a fucking good game. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, a stupid kids show that I don't care about. I enjoyed this as I found it quite funny, but I must say, IHE, go fuck yourself. That's like the most backhanded compliment that completely evens itself out in the end. That's like going to a comedian's show and being like, ha, now that was a funny show, but fuck you, you suck. Because you made fun of something that I do or like. There's something to be said about being able to laugh at yourself, as well as everything else. Okay, if you keep saying how bad the episode is before the episode's done, you're not gonna like it. You got to keep an open mind. That's because I'm a grown-ass man watching a cartoon that's designed for little girls. It felt weird from the get-go. It was uncomfortable and stupid the whole time and I felt like I shouldn't be doing it. So of course I didn't like any of it. How could I keep an open mind when it was so clear through the entire thing that it wasn't designed for me? And I know, oh, th it's when they realize that bronies watched it that they start to change it, I don't care. That's what I can say based on the episode I watched. Well, at least I watched the whole thing. I could have turned it off when that horrible, ear-bleedingly, eye-explodingly, hair-pullingly terrible intro came on, but I didn't. I saw the whole thing. I understand that he gets views for acting negative and that's the whole point. I like the show and all. To be honest, I find some of what he says pretty funny, but other times he just tries too hard, I don't know. I really do enjoy trying too hard to appease these people. What does that even mean, trying too hard? Isn't that a good thing? When you try hard at something, doesn't that mean you're doing a good job? Unless it's like James in a video game, he always calls me a try hard. You should try harder at things you do, then you might do better. Yeah, you're right. I'm gonna do that, but I've never actually tried too hard to pander to a certain audience, or stick to the name. I've been pretty clear on that from the get-go. Seth MacFarlane tries too hard to cram in awkward pop culture references. I don't try too hard to live up to the name. There's a difference. I hate everything became a closet brony after this. I really do wish I did in some ways. At least then I could just stop talking about bronies full stop. But instead I just have to revel in all the messages I get every day about why I'm wrong. And why I should like this show because it's so rich. And has a plot that's really intricate and nuanced. But guess what, I don't care. And I'm never going to care because it's My Little Pony. 
and I have better things to do with my time. Old video, but had to say it. It's very hypocritical of you to bitch on people for judging your videos before they've seen it all, when you've done the same thing here. My point was that My Little Pony is just not for me and I don't care. If I was a fan of Pokemon and somehow wound up on my video, I'm not going to comment or have an opinion on it until I've seen the whole video, because things can change in six minutes or so. I watched the first episode for two reasons. One, because I thought maybe there was a small, tiny, minute, non-existent chance that it might actually be good, which it turned out to not be, but that doesn't matter because I actually watched the first episode. And two, I had an operation on my mouth and was on heavy painkillers, so I couldn't be bothered to make an actual video that week. So I watched My Little Pony and got mad at it. Very adult of me, I know. But I did it. That's why it's my least favorite video that I've ever made. I watched it again the other day and I found it kind of funny though. Just because of how clearly angry I was through the whole thing and I just didn't want to be there. I don't even know why I bothered to begin with. You just don't want to admit it. I know you love the show. All the negative things you said are lies. I don't know what I'd get from lying about not liking the show. Even if I did make a video saying that I liked it, it would sound not genuine because it wouldn't be genuine. I'd be slighting myself because I don't like it. Is this person so insecure in the idea that other people think differently? to him that he needs to convince himself that they're lying to themselves that they like it. Did that make any sense? I think it did. Also, I wonder if they like My Little Pony with their pony picture. Was that give enough for you? And 14 of mine watching your dumb ass not giving the show a fair chance. 14 of what? What does that mean? 14 of mine? Do you have 14 clones? I think watching the first episode of an infamous kids show is kind of giving it a fair chance. It's not on me to know that the show sucks ass for the first few episodes, or seasons, or whatever. I gave it a chance, I didn't turn it off before the episode was done, I watched the whole thing. And I know for a fact that the good seasons won't be different enough for me to care, with all the clips and other weird things people have shown and said to me. Most reasons people don't like it is because when they tried to watch it, they don't watch it with an open mind instead of the try to look at all the negative things instead of trying to look at the positive things. I'm a grown ass man watching the first episode of My Little Pony. What person who's not obsessed with internet culture is going to go in with an open mind without any preconceived notions? It's impossible. Unless you're already committed to the idea of liking or disliking it. And unless every single one of your friends is like, hey, My Little Pony is the greatest thing ever, you should watch this today. And you're like, oh, okay, this sounds good. I'm going to watch it. Then you watch loads of it and like it because they said it was good, or that it gets good. Why? Oh please, no, not the first episode. Two things. One, bias. It's a thing that you have. I can't blame you for it, everyone has it to a certain extent. Bias and opinion are different things. People on the internet don't understand how being biased works. When you call people biased as loosely as that, then it has no meaning. In that case, every single person ever is biased about everything. What do you mean you have preconceived ideas about a thing you're about to watch? Especially when it's something as lucrative as My Little Pony. Of course it's gonna fucking happen. Of course, that doesn't make any sense. Two, trust me, if you've read my other comment on your other video, you'd know that the only part when the show starts getting good is about halfway through. Hence why this was not the right episode to watch. Again, I don't care if it starts getting good halfway through. That's not good enough. That's not a reason for me to start watching something. All of my favorite shows are good from episode one. It starts to get good three hours in isn't a good enough excuse. This comment chain baffled me in a number of ways. I fucking hate the fact that I have to go to class with a dumbass brony. Murder him. I mean, no. Just kill him. Because there's a difference between killing someone and murdering them. Thank you, I will take your advice. Is this kid really gonna try and kill his brony classmate? You fucking kidding me? Look, you can have as much vitriol against the show itself as much as you want, but who gives a fuck if other people like or dislike it? If you're someone who likes My Little Pony, why do you need to defend it to anyone? You don't need to go on any other video about why other people don't like it just to prove why you should. If you like it, that's cool, done, full stop, I don't give a fuck. And nothing you say or do is ever gonna change my views on it. Because changing someone's views on things is fucking difficult. Especially when it's something like this, when people have to fight so hard just to justify why they like it. Nothing some dickhead on the internet says is going to change their mind about that. Well, I've got to say, I disagree with this video. Well, that, that could be a lot worse. That could be a whole lot worse. Ultimately, completely unhelpful, useless, and a waste of everyone's time, but still, it could be worse. One, there is a dragon episode where Spike goes crazy. Two, see the last two episodes of season four. One, I don't care. Two, out of the four seasons that exist at the time of recording this, you want me to watch the last two episodes. Isn't that proof in and of itself that the show's a complete waste of fucking time? 
To me. I hate that I have to say to me. Anything that comes out my mouth, you can just assume is my opinion. You have to fucking agree with it, but just understand that. This guy has no taste in TV shows. Hey, do you remember the shows I mentioned in the video? Breaking Bad. Six Feet Under. The Shield. South Park. Futurama. Yeah, because I don't like My Little Pony, that means I have no taste in shows. Some of which are a few of the most highly regarded- I'm being called right in the middle of doing this. Wonderful. Oh, great. I think it's They're trying to call me to give me a, an interview about something. I'm not going to answer it. I refuse to answer my phone unless it's a number I recognize. They keep calling me and I hate it. Leave me alone, Now I've lost track of where I was. Fuck you. Where was I? Oh, yeah. Um, I've completely lost track for fuck's sake. Wonderful. My frustration level after this vid? Over 9,000. And I'm 12. This is a YouTube phenomenon that I've been seeing a lot. And that's people who are usually 12 or younger saying their age for no reason. Hey, good video. And I'm 10 years old. Hey, I like this song, and I'm 9 years old. That means I'm cool. I have a theory about this. Do you remember that when you were 12 years old, you were really proud about how you were 12 years old? Like, yeah, I'm a whole 12 years old. I'm not 11. I'm not 11 and a half. I'm not even 11 and 3 quarters, I'm 12 years old. That means what I say is quite important, and you should listen to me, because I'm 12. When in reality, they're some of the most clueless people on the planet. I like it because of the rich plot and story. Are people so starved of things with rich plots and rich stories that they need to go to My Little Pony to find it? Or is it because just it's so easy to watch? You realize there are just so many things that have both these things in spades that exist, right? It's not a rare thing to find. It really isn't. You will burn in the deepest pit of hell with all of your hater friends. That's nice. You want me to burn for eternity because I didn't like a kid's show that you do. Cool. Shut the fuck up, ass. Fuck it in a brony. Fuck it in a brony. Let's unpack this. What could this possibly mean? I don't think any combination of these words would make any sense. Fuck a brony inner? In fucker a brony? A fucker in brony? Brony fucker inner? No. Have you heard about this new bit of technology that started spawning comments like this? Yeah, it's this really advanced, like, toilet bowl thing that you plug into your computer via USB, you sit on it, take a shit, and then it converts it into a YouTube comment, and then it makes stuff like this. I don't me, you, you, I hate everything. 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 <laughs> Everything hate I, you, you, me, don't I. Is it weird that it makes more sense backwards than it does forwards? I hate you, angry face. This comment is both funny and original, and I have never seen it before. I rate it a 6 out of 10. Mediocre. Could be better. Work on your funniness. This bick don't deserve subs. I've just been sat here for like two minutes trying to think of something funny to say back to this. But I can't. It's destroyed me. My ego is gone. He was gonna say he loved the art style, but he remembered his stage name as I Hear Everything, so he decided to LIE! Fucking liar. Yeah, y you got me. I actually love the show a lot. I was waiting till, like, the last comment here, or one of the last ones to admit it, because I know not many people get to this part, so it's safe for me to say that I love My Little Pony and it's my favorite thing of all. If you could see my walls, they would be covered in my own custom OC My Little Pony characters. I'm so obsessed with them. I'm in my own custom My Little Pony outfit right now, as I'm recording this audio. I've got my plastic surgery booked so I can morph myself into a real pony and walk around a stable like I'm some kind of horrible fucking weird human hybrid pony creature. Because that's what I want. I love it so much. Start by watching the season four finale. How about I start by watching none of it, because I don't care, and I think it's stupid, and no part of me is ever gonna care or like it, because I think it's stupid and dumb, and about ponies, which is a thing I don't care about. In fact, I hate ponies and horses in real life as well. I find them weird and creepy and too strong. Their muscles are so huge they could decapitate you just by squeezing your head in between their thighs. So which comment out of all those wins the Assaholic Award? Let me just have a think. Fuck it, this person can get it. Congratulations, you win the assaholic bitch comment of the episode. I do know what love is. It's an assaholic bitch. Remember to mine that ore for the minerals.
So those are some My Little Pony comments. Weren't they wonderful? And cool and nice? All of them? And it wasn't just, it wasn't the same thing over and over again, no. No, that was not a thing that happened, no. I shouldn't start with season four. That's something I shouldn't do. I think I spoke a whole lot slower this episode. I don't know why, I just felt like it. Maybe because I'm fucking high as hell. I'm not. I just felt like it. So what did you think? I'm trying to make these a little bit more regular because they always go for like two months without making one and it's like, hey look, it's this again. I hope you want this again. So what do you think? Did, were the comments funny or interesting or totally terrible and the worst thing ever to you? Tell me in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. All comments and ratings are very much appreciated. Make sure you check out some of my other comment comebacks and other videos I have on offer on my channel. I'll see you next time. Bye!